It's been a couple of days and it's late as hell. Perfect time to play some horror games. I mean, if you count this as a horror game, nothing really scary has happened, I suppose. Gumball Machine. A strange box is stored in a corner containing various colorful balls inside. Can I get some balls, please? I need your help, desperately. Yeah? How can I help you? You see, last Tuesday I won a Kingdom's Lottery, and the Queen gave me a shiny coin to use on that machine around the corner, but I can't seem to be able to use it. Oh, so you'd like me to do it for you? If you don't mind, I've hidden the coin beneath my leaves. Alright. This one, right? Yes, yes! It's that one! Use it, miss! I want to see what my prize is! Alright, sure. I'll do that. I mean, I, I saved, so it's not the end of the world if I don't get anything cool. Alright, insert coin! Oh, something came out! What is it? What is it? Let's see! A fancy ribbon! Woo! Ah, it's a ribbon! A ribbon? <laughs> it's really cute, don't you like it? I do, but I'm a boy. I mean, that doesn't, it doesn't matter. I can't use my ribbon. Okay. I'm sorry, miss. It seems I can't claim my prize after all. I'll give you the ribbon. Yes, you can. See? It looks pretty on you, Mr. Pumpkin. It does? There are no mirrors here, so I can't tell. Leave that to me. Oh my god! It's glorious. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, mwah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> See? You're right, miss. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Pumpkin. There you go. You got a lovely... Lovely ribbon on you now. I'm gonna save that because that was a crucial decision to make in this game. I think. I don't know. Hi! Great surprises await you in this room. Oh, there's, there's numbered boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright. One! Okay. I guess. Two! Alright. Uh, three! Are they all locked? Four? Oh, no. That one four's not. Huzzah! <laughs> you know what's funny about that is I remember seeing that exact clown in Witch's House. Wonder if that's a tribute. Why, hello there, miss! Would you like to play a game with us? You scared me. What kind of game is it? Why, hello there, miss! Would you like to play a game with us? Huh? Yes? Alright. Tell me the answer to this next riddle, and you will be highly rewarded. Should you come upon any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the ringmaster. All right, the pumpkins are in ring ma ring masker. Okay, ring masker. Yes, at his own funeral, did Matthias C gathered by the open grave his family of three: father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. What? Every box will have their own riddle to present you. Think hard and be clever. There is a riddle that has no answer. Get it right and you shall advance. Get it wrong three times and there won't be a fourth chance. Does any question arise, don't hesitate to ask me. The ringmaster I am, standing here to serve thee. Oh boy. Okay. Whoops, you got it wrong. Oh. Ow, okay. Wait, what? How many people were at Matthias' funeral? Certainly, I certainly wasn't there. Oh, I guess five then? Be careful now, little girl. Alright, no. Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing what happens if I if I fuck up, so... Six! Ah, man. Three times did Mary poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now, tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? Six. Oh, okay, I guess I can't pick the same thing. One, then? Too bad, see you in another life. Man! Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there's something I'm missing. Perhaps there is, I don't know, but uh, I'll try again. The good thing I saved after giving Mr. Pumpkin his bow. Okay, so... Um... <laughs> let's try this again. I need to talk to the ringmaster again, see what 
is going down. I feel like I was going to say something there, but I can't remember what it was. Yes, I'll play a game. Please do. Yes. All right. Tell me the answer to the riddle. You'll be highly rewarded. Don't answer. Yep. Ringmaster. Thank you. At his own funeral, did Matthias see, gathered by the open grave, his family of three, father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. I don't quite understand. I'm not great at riddles, sadly. So, how many people were at Matthias' funeral? I certainly wasn't there. A little too literal, don't you think? Don't be lazy, reading is good for you. Okay, let me let me try reading it again, just to make sure. At his own funeral, did Matthias see, gathered by the open grave, his family of three. Father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. Oh, unless they are counting Matthias as well? I guess technically then it's six. Here's the next riddle. Three times did Marie poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? I, I guess three. Correct. All right. Yeah, sure. Here's the next riddle. It's yellow, blue, red, and green. No one can reach it, not even the queen. Oh, what? I hate those despicable green midgets. I've heard there are immense riches waiting for you at the end of this riddle. I, I don't know. Um... Uh... Green? Oh, got it wrong. I wonder if I can just... If I can just guess this one. No? Alright. One! Damn. <laughs> just brute force it. Editor's note. During the recording, I still didn't figure this puzzle out, but I actually think when you f see the answer that it has to do with how many letters are in the word said. All the colors and specifically the word queen. I guess it's seven, then. I don't know why. The, the problem with this kind of riddle, or this kind of thing, is one, I'm too lazy to think of it, and two, since there's a save point there, you can just brute force it really easy. Alright. Uh... Kathri Kathrina and Valentina were, bought on, uh, were born on the 12th of September. One mysterious as the moon, the other cursed with short temper. One day... V turned two. Katharina was half her age. Years have passed, filled with turmoil and rage. The day she turned ten, Valentina remembered her sister with sorrow. How many years would I be her eldest? And ha had she lived another tomorrow? So... My gut instinct says one, but I've, I'm going against it. Because, okay, no, I guess it was one. All right. I was gonna guess this first, but the game's been throwing me curveballs. I guess not. Here's the next riddle. Oh my god. Having placed her five baked dishes on the window ledge to cool, Mrs. Elizabeth headed out of town to buy pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Little did she know, while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them, followed by a stray dog who ate another one. She came back. She was gutted to know that disaster had occurred. How many dishes were saved on that dreadful day? That sounds like two. What? Oh, fuck! There was- uh, it was three. God damn it, because I read it wrong. I, I read dishes as in, like, how many- Okay, fuck. <laughs> so that should be three? No? Hang on. Let me talk to you. How many did she bake again? It was five, wasn't it? Having placed her five baked dishes on the window... That's the call. Mr. Lewis was headed out of town to buy pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Yeah. Or did she know why she was away? A robber had come and eaten two of them, followed by a stray dog who ate another one. So she made five, and that's three gone. But I did two already. What? Why five? I don't... Oh, pro oh, because, like, just because they'd eaten them, the dishes were still there. Right? Ah! <laughs> Two books rest on a shelf. One is upside down, the other is backwards. So tell me, little girl, what is the sum of the first page in each book? 
I am drawing a blank. I think I'm just going to guess. It's one of the ones that we haven't used yet. It's not that. <laughs> Wait, not what? 146. Did I get that right? Maybe the other stuff's just fluff. Yeah, it, it, if it's just p the first pages, it'd still be one and one equals two. Yeah, okay, fuck. All right. <laughs> On a dreadful night illuminated by a bright full moon, our love flourished like a flower in bloom. With a poisonous kiss on a warning crescent, did I take your essence in echo... What? That... Man, that word. The words they're using. Bath in the following darkness, I did, did I dig your grave, putting you to rest in a final farewell, your body I did, did I crave. On a waxing moon, I had my punishment, between heaven and hell, I, did I dwell in confinement. Oh my god, what? This one's quite hard, isn't it? Try to recall the previous riddles, you might find something out. Such a brutal story. You. Okay, here's the final riddle. I am all powerful and mighty. Going through doors is my speciality. Many in these twisted halls will stand, but fear not, my girl. Have me in hand, for a gentle touch can I undo the restraint, the restraint cast upon you. A key? Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, alright, that makes sense. As I promised, here's your reward. Dazzling key! Woo! Where am I- what am I supposed to do with this? I wouldn't know, I found it on the floor the other day. Well, that was a giant... ...thing, miss. Hello? Yeah. Yes? I have one more riddle for you. Would you care to listen? Yeah, sure. What gets broken without being held? I'm sorry, but I need time to think that one. Worry not, little girl, for that riddle's answer does not belong to me, it belongs to you. What do you mean, mister? Hmm. We'll have to see, won't we? Editor's note. I get a feeling the very last riddle, not the, the very last one, but the last box I had to open, that was probably the one without an answer because it would, f it would allow me to figure out that it's just the last box that hasn't been opened. Good job, miss. That was quite a show. Here's a little hint for the future. Be kind and caring, for your opponents will tend to be rather daring. Okay. Sure. Well, I got a key. That's something. I guess. That did take quite a while. Okay, that's closed shut, so I'm assuming that's not the way to go. Maybe we'll go this way. Door is locked. Maybe it's this door. That's locked. Okay, maybe it's this door. Have we been in here before? Oh, this is different. No, this is very different. Oh my god. What? Okay. The tall clock stands in the corner, its hand running across its face as if it was in a hurry. Oh, pumpkin charm. Nice. I still don't know what I'm doing with them yet. Shh, I'm hiding. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm not just not good enough. What's wrong, miss? Oh, it's nothing. You're too young for this kind of thing. Oh, oh, Foxy. <laughs> you know, no pumpkins allowed? Oh, that's why they're hiding. Okay. Good evening, miss. We possibly met before. No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I see. That's a shame because I would totally carve your pumpkin. I'm sorry, mister, but I don't have any pumpkins with me right now. That's all right, miss. I'm sorry to bother you. Have a nice evening. Thank you, mister. You too. Oh, rabbit, you're so funny. Let's be together forever and ever. Carve your pumpkin. A fancy cabinet made entirely of walnut wood. Fragile looking tea sets rest inside, carefully arranged on the shelves. Hey! More pumpkin charms. Hell yeah. No more pumpkin charms from you, though. This tea is quite delicious. Speaking of which, I wonder who Queen... Elegant? Ele Elliot? Uh, fuck, I don't know. We'll choose. Aren't you excited? Yes, I am. Tonight's dance party is going to be fabulous. I can't wait. All of these people are completely uneducated. Can you believe most of them don't know how to read? Pathetic. I know someone who can't read. What a pretty little girl you are. Listen, do you happen to know how to sue? Did I say sue? So? 
Yes, I do. How did you know? Don't be silly. I, of course I didn't. Either way, you can have this. Oh, needle and thread. Nice. Everyone likes to party here. Isn't that nice? I'll sue you. <laughs> I don't even know how to play chess. Just don't tell anyone. Oh, okay. Well, might, might have a problem there. What's this? Wait, hello? It's just lying on the floor. It's nothing. This, this room was a, a whole lot of nothing. I don't even know. That wasn't the key room. So, the key... Hang on, let me look at the key. Dazzling key. Dazzling golden key decorated with silky magenta ribbon. Maybe I need to use the key. Did I just hear something? I swear I heard something. It's like someone's playing the harp. But, like... The door is locked, that door is locked, that door is locked. Can I do something with the needle? I don't know. He looks really happy. Yay! Ah, here we go! Okay, I had to use it in a specific way. Oh my lord. What in the world? Oh, this maid uniform looks a lot like the ones at home. Alright, pumpkin charms, nice. I see three mirrors here. They're color-coded. Have you heard the rumors? They say Mrs. Fox has slipped into an eternal slumber due to what happened. Oh, I love stories with unhappy endings. What a horrible thing to say. I don't especially like black dresses. Wait, that's red though, what? Such a frilly dress, it's so elegant. I die, what? This dress feels somewhat nostalgic. And also, it's above me. That's weird. <laughs> wow, I can't believe how unprofessional this game is. I'm kidding, of course. They always tell me to turn around when they're changing clothes. It's so unfair. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We've been going on for a while because that riddle section actually took quite a lot out of me in terms of time. So I'm going to call the episode there, unfortunately. There's a lot of talking in this one and a lot of kind of hard guessing. But uh, we'll have to keep it there for now. Well, we got some progress. We got a needle. We spoke to a bunch of people. We got a key that we could use to open a door. So I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Throw us a like if you did. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Pocket Mirror. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye. Come on.